this next comic coming to the stage, uh, he's got his own show that he's running uh, May 23rd at Nona's, uh, the All Black Everything Show. <laughs> I don't know what that, what that means. Uh, but yeah, you guys should go check it out at uh, Nona's on May 23rd. Give it up for Quentin Wilde, everybody. <laughs> Uh, thank you for that, Topher. And yes, it's called the All Black Everything. And Topher's right. He has no idea what it stands for, and no one else does either. That's the fucking joke. I just want everybody to show up and be surprised. Maybe there'll be nothing but black comics. Maybe everybody will just be wearing black, you know, black tie. Maybe the room will be completely dark, and you'll just have to hear the comics' voices. You never know. You have to show up, and you'll find out. Give it up one more time for my boy Thomas Ray. I, I, I love Thomas Ray because Thomas's comedy is like the closest thing you can do to like doing acid comedy. Like I feel like he just drops a little bit of acid and just goes for it, and I love him for it. I was hearing his shit and like I, I, I kind of like I, I'm not gonna lie, I was going around my set and then I heard him say. You know how I'm going to end racism? And whenever a white person says that, I just always like listen attentively like, Please, sir, tell me more. How will you end racism, Mr. White Guy? Uh, although I do have one problem with that. He was talking about barbarians. I also thought the Romans called them barbarians because they didn't like cut their beards and shit, which is where we get the word barber from. But fuck it, maybe I'm wrong. That's just my nerve point coming out. Uh, he was also talking about robots and technology taking over. Folks, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I cannot fucking wait for robots to take over. That's my dream, all right? Like, people are always like, that's scary. Like, all oh, technology is going out of control. Fuck that shit, all right? We need a babysitter, all right? We have been in control of this earth and our lives since we stepped foot on this goddamn planet, and we have fucked it up beyond repair, all right? I am totally fucking ready for robots to be control. And if Google does it, it'll be a lot friendlier and like easier to use. So fuck it, bring it on. <laughs> At least I'll be able to get my emails and shit. That's all I care about. Uh, somebody screamed out something about the bathroom walls earlier during Thomas's said. I I'm gonna be honest with you folks, it's fucking bullshit. Uh, first of all, like one of my biggest concerns is Every male in here, when your first, like, when your dad first takes you to the public restroom, the first goddamn thing he teaches you is, you go in there, you pick a stall, you pick somewhere to look at, you do your business, you wash your hands, you get the fuck out. You don't bother anybody else, you don't talk to anybody else. You piss, you shit, you get the fuck out. And, like, I know that that's, like, really homophobic of our dads, but, like, nowadays, that's pretty fucking good advice. Mind your own goddamn business and get the fuck out. It's a bathroom. You shouldn't worry about the fuck I'm doing. I'm not worrying about the fuck you're doing. Let's just end this shit. All right? And like, I actually heard somebody talking about it and they were like, well, somebody can like dress up as a woman and sneak into the women's restroom and try to like molest me or something like that. And my immediate thought was, what the fuck kind of Three Stooges type fucking rapists are you dealing with? All right? We're gonna go buy a bunch of lady dresses, we're gonna put them on, we're gonna sneak into the restroom, and we're just gonna be ripping them and listen to everybody. Ooh, can I get a sundress? Oh, you want a sundress? Oh, we got a wise guy, hey? Like, what the fuck? That sounds like the worst episode of Bosom Buddies ever. For those of you who don't know, Bosom Buddies was a TV show of like late 70s, early 80s with Tom Hanks on it. Like, him and his roommate had to dress up like women to live in an apartment. It, it was weird. Oh. Uh, I, I dropped my notes on the ground, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Uh, like, I was actually going over my notes earlier, and like, I had a real big problem with them because, like, I write shorthand because, like, a lot of times I don't have time, and so, like, I'll write just like a little, like, two or three words, and then, like, I'll come back to it and try to, like, flesh it out. But every so often, I'll write down something, and I'm just like, what the fuck was I thinking? And like that happened to me earlier, like I was going over my notes and like I'm going over all of them and then I get to one and I'm like, I read it and I'm like, what the fuck? And I shit you not, my note just says, dyslexia equal to squirting. <laughs> dyslexia equal to squirting. Now folks, I, I, you can breathe easy. I figured out what the fuck it stood for. And <laughs> 
And it was a joke I was trying to write about how dyslexia and squirting are the same thing because like people don't believe that, you know, they actually exist. They're like, you know, really taboo, but like if you learn how to work with it and appreciate it, it can be an amazing thing. Dyslexia and like squirting. And that's where I lost it. Right there. <laughs> uh, uh, your host tonight, uh, Topher. Topher has a podcast. Topher, where are you? What, what's the podcast name again? Uh, Topher and Nick's Pop Culture Picks. There you go. I, I've been wanting to be on the uh, podcast since like day one, and like I couldn't figure out why I haven't been on it, and then I realized that maybe it has something to do with uh, a conversation me and Topher had about Indiana Jones not too long ago. And Topher's like, I love Indiana Jones. He's awesome. And I was like, me? Not so much. And he's like, why don't you like Indiana Jones? I was like, simple. Indiana Jones, through three movies, is fighting Nazis over valuable treasures that are lost. He's like, yeah, that's, that's the point. I was like, uh, never once in those three movies did Indiana Jones once save a single Jew. <laughs> never. People are being put into a furnace. Fuck that shit. There's a priceless phase I have to say. See ya. Fuck Indiana Jones. Oh, that was a bad one to go out on. You folks have a great night. My name's Quinn Wow. Woo!